I'm working with my mom in a workshop with a displayed person uh, in handcraft. These women are uh, Benet Babullah, the ladies of the heaven. They're happy because they have the chance to work. The launch in 2002 of FEMIP, the Euro-Mediterranean Investment and Partnership Facility by the European Investment Bank, the EIB, was a key date in the relationship between the European Union and the Mediterranean region nations. For the past decade, this exemplary partnership has fulfilled its role, accelerating growth and creating employment. Thousands of jobs, including those in the FEDIA workshop, have been created thanks to European funding. The EIB promotes economic development and its nine partner nations of the Mediterranean Basin with private sector loans, industries, SME, micro-enterprises, equity investments in companies, technical assistance or by funding studies. When I started the company in 89, we had just one production line and just 70 people. Now we have more than 600. I'm a local man, you see, and I wanted to help and participate in the regional development. And that's what we're doing today. The long-term objective for this plant is to continue its policy of hiring personnel as long as we possibly can to improve living conditions for ourselves and for the local inhabitants. Large-scale funding for infrastructure gives beneficiary nations better access to the international market as does support for industries and SMEs that improve the business climate and entrepreneurship. It's very important to understand that the people who came on board were not only motivated by the opportunity that the sector presents, they were also motivated by their interest in the region. The impact of the project is to have 250 tonnes of glucose per day production with good quality and stable quality at the same time also to have better environment and better working condition and to reduce all the pollution. Another FEMIP priority is to improve living conditions for the people of the Mediterranean nations, particularly in education and health. There is also investment in community infrastructure, such as urban transport, access to water and power, and measures to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. In 2006, the EIB, in collaboration with the French Development Agency, the World Bank, and with Japanese cooperation, decided to support the Egyptian authorities' drive to limit industrial pollution in the suburbs of Cairo. The second national pollution abatement project, known as EPAP2, received 40 million euros in funding from the bank. Before, the factory workers had chest inflammations and suffered from fatigue. Now working conditions have really improved. The European Investment Bank gave the Egyptian Office of Environmental Affairs their support and cooperation. With the bank's funding, owners of brickworks have switched from fuel oil to natural gas. This encourages owners to develop their factories. Funding for SMEs is a key issue in the Mediterranean and in the rest of Europe. This is a systemic crisis and we must boost SMEs as they are creating most of the jobs. By 2050, the population in the Mediterranean nations will have doubled and 70% of people will live in cities. Only sustainable economic and social development can provide a response to the legitimate aspirations expressed recently with such determination. <laughs>